In Lawrence, South Carolina, under the shadows of this old theater, there are dark memories. It's like your, your whole essence, the essence of your being is vibrating and remembering the hostility. Reverend David Kennedy remembers a time not long ago when this place stood against everything he is. The Ku Klux Klan came in and they uh, created uh, the one and only worldwide uh, KKK museum known as the Ritnik Shop. But in 1997, Kennedy became the owner of the theater through an unlikely source, a former Klan member who once was asked to kill him. Kennedy didn't know that when he first met Michael Burden, hungry and poor, and helped him and his family get back on their feet. There was one catch, though. The shop owner got to stay in the building until he died. This story is on display in the new film, Burden. Racism is a strange kind of organism. It's systemic. And... It probably would never go away in our lifetime. The shop owner died in 2017, and Kennedy now has big plans for the theater. 101 Studios, the film's production company, has started an effort to turn it into a museum. It symbolizes, uh, for, for right now, in the shape it's in, hatred. But we want to hope that we can turn it into a building of love. The next chapter of this building's history being written by a man determined to move a community forward by learning from its divisive past. Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.